Hey, uh, you might notice there's a little uh, switcheroo going on here and Francis von Cernick's head full of useless information about movies. I am Meredith Monroe. I am the host today and my fabulous guest, Francis. I'm very uncomfortable sitting here. <laughs> I don't like the focus, the, the, the attention focused on me. It makes me very uncomfortable, but you you did a very good job. And I, th I don't know. Thank you. It, well, maybe it's a good show. It, it'd be an interesting show, like a little say. It's a little case study. How about that? It's because a case during every commercial break, we both kept going, oh gosh, this is so uncomfortable. This is so awkward. Yeah. But uh, we had fun, so hopefully you will too. Yeah, during the show, I talked a little bit about, and I really wanted to talk more about it, but as you guys know, this show goes so quickly about Francis's uh, uh, experiences as a writer, a director, an editor, as an actor, uh, which I think really makes for... Why are you laughing? I'm laughing because I'm so uncomfortable in my skin. Okay. And we're being filmed, and okay. I don't know if... Uh, you don't know what to do with your hands. But go on. Yeah, that's you were right, an yeah. actor. I was get an actor, and that's it. why I'm not an actor get, anymore. Get back into those actors. No, 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 no. <laughs> I was a terrible actor. Well, I don't know. Uh, I, I, but I do, yeah. I, I do want to talk to you. Yeah. You did a film called Shout. Yes. Uh, with John Travolta. Yeah. And, and, yeah. and how, how did you feel about being an actor? And, and do you have any good stories? It was, yeah, I was an actor in a couple of things. Uh, a Shout was fun. It was, it was a universal, it was, I, I, you know, it was a big, like, universal movie. We shot it on the back lot, and John Travolta's in it, my, my friend Jamie Walters. Uh, uh, my, uh, the, the late Gwen Quinn, Glenn Quinn, who was on Roseanne, played Mark and Roseanne. Oh, in right. it. It's a nice little movie, uh, like a family movie or something. Uh, Gwyneth Paltrow was her first, it oh, was right, her first movie, right, 19 year old right. Gwyneth. Yes, yes. Um, uh, anyway, um, yeah. So, but there, there's a good story. Oh, good, good, This good. is we so like natural. Yeah. Hi. No, no, but no, hey, there, No, there is a stories. good story. There is a good story. Uh, 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 it was, we were shooting in the back line of Universal next to the Jaws attraction, if you've ever, you know. Right. And, uh, you know Which how the... Which scares the crap out the of me. The trams go by. When you're shooting, you know, you're standing in makeup, smoking a cigarette. Right, right, right. And the tram says, hey, and this is a movie, you know. A anyway, so the trams are going all around. We're shooting... And uh, 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 Travolta was finished early that day, and he drives, and I'm standing there uh, uh, talking to my sister, uh, and uh, uh, he, 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 Travolta drives uh, pa uh, drives up to me with his, he always rents, um, uh, 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 what are those big cars, the English cars? Anyway. he always, Bentley? No, 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 the no. other ones, uh, 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 the Rolls Royce. Royce. He always drives okay. convertible Rolls Royces when he's not. I don't know why. All right. Um, uh, and he drives by in his Rolls Royce and says, Hey, Frank, I'll, I'll see you tomorrow. You know, we just talk a little bit. All right, bye. He drives off, and I continue the conversation with my sister, and we hear, <coughs> And we, Danny and I, my sister and I, run down and see... Travolta had hit oh, a tram, one of oh, the uh, Universal Studio tour trams. And all the tourists are like, smashed into it. <laughs> steam, I'm not making this up, steam coming out like a movie, you know. Oh. And he's such a nice guy. The, one of the nicest men oh, in, that's on nice the, to hear. in the world. Nice and to hear. he gets out and he's so at <laughs> ease with himself. And it's full of Japanese tourists. Oh, jeez. And they they all piling out and taking pictures, and the yeah. guy just wants to go home, but right. he's so nice. He's signing on Aww. and taking pictures, and you know he's he's ruined his car. Right, right. Anyway, maybe that's not a good well, story, hey, but did it, it was did you it know I like the hearing stuff. Reel? Like, no, no, there's no cameras nobody, to film it. No, it. no, uh, no. Uh, um, yeah. So. Well, I'm not uh, the boss. Okay, good. Yeah. Well, yeah, you're, you're trying to be. Back I, off, buddy. I know, I know. I'm Back sorry. off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so how do you feel that uh, being an actor has helped shape you as a director? Well, no. well, I think, like we were talking about on the show, uh, again, I've done little little things in, in other aspects besides being a director. Right. Like, I, I was a grip on a couple of shows, an assist, apprentice or assistant prop man on a couple of shows, an apprentice and an assistant editor on a couple of shows, 
uh, uh, more shows uh, is because I like editorial. It's yeah, because editing goes back to telling a story too, just like directing, well, writing. It, but I mean, editing you could have you could edit a movie three different ways and have three different movies of the same movie. It's true, and it taught me how to write that. And Paul Schrader's really? book, Schrader on Schrader. There's a chapter, really? and when he explains how he writes, I didn't. When I wrote uh, my first script, God's Only Man, I didn't know how to write. But so I read that book, and I and, and I tried to do what he does. But I, uh, uh, but editorial helped me because what you do when you have a when you're assembling the picture, right, is and I had to do this as the apprentice. I had to write on e uh, index cards. You write each scene, what happens in the scene, the Whoa. number of the scene, and then you put it all on index cards and put it on the board so the editor can sit back and say, well. It's boring here, so we'll take this card and we'll move it down here because it needs a car, the car chase needs to go here because there's too much dialogue. Whoa. And watching the great, great Cranes as a film editor and now a producer who That's produced who Austin's Creek. Yes, yes, That's who yes. I worked for, I did Greg. Yeah, he was a great, great editor. Great guy, great guy. And watching Greg and Robert Florio do that. I saw that that's how you tell a story. Wow. I had no and idea. And that's how I write. I'd write on little index, index cards. Index cards. People Not because talk about it's that. a cool thing to do, but no, because no. I don't know how to write. But, so and, I want to make sure that... people talk about that because you can have an idea and then you can kind of flop it around. It's very visual. It's right there in front of your face. And then you, you can actually kind of insert... Like you were saying with the editing, which I had no idea that they did that. Oh, wait, that's not really working there. That's This is slowing it down. We need to move yeah, the story yeah. around. That's amazing. It's a smart thing to do. And I found that, because I've written a, few, a lot of scripts, and there's nothing worse. Writing is very unpleasant. But there's nothing worse than getting to page 100 yeah. or 95 right. and realizing, of actually writing the script and realizing that there's not a movie there. Oh, uh, you're you're typing and you're going. Wait a minute, this isn't a movie. Oh, jeez. So to avoid that is to to not because it's like a, a like a, a cool method, but because it's a fear. Right. To right. avoid that with the cards and notes and outlines, because it's so much work writing and it's so it can be so painful. And daunting. You have to be and honest yes. and you know yeah. and. Uh, and so you want to make sure. Anyway, anyway who cares what I? No, no, how I, do anything. I think it's fascinating. But yeah, I, I really do. I think it's very interesting. Everybody's um, uh, process of, of how they get somewhere. Um, okay. Yeah. You know, yeah. and and uh, speaking on that, uh, do we have enough time to, to ask boss. a few more questions? Yeah. Um, speaking on that, do you give yourself a time limit when you are writing your scripts? Like, I need to get. Uh, yes. A certain number of pages done a day, or a certain number of hours a day, or this needs to be done in three months. Yes, especially if you're not being paid to write. Okay. And it's all up to you. Does right. Nobody cares if you finish a script or not. Right. So I have to, I'm a big believer in deadlines. Okay. Be, and, so what's and your process? Being tell a, me. Tell having me. jeopardy attached to my actions. It, for now, before I actually sit down to write the script, uh, uh, who knows? Because I have to make, you know, I have to come up with, and that's all I think about. Right. And I, I, and my, I, I don't talk to my friends, and I, I hide, you know, and just watch movies and, and write and get inspired. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I always watch like the same movie over and over and over again. Well, it's a waiting period. The script. Yes. Hi, yes. How you doing? Yes. That we're uh, starting pre-production on. Uh, uh, I watched the b most bizarre movie. The first forty minutes of Rob Zombie's. Uh, 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 Halloween remake